Hello, my name is Brian Campbell and I am High Hopes Communications. Today I want to talk to you about customer service. I've been noticing lately that a lot of otherwise good business and technical people have been missing the boat when it comes to customer service. With all their skills and talents, they seem to have forgotten that the bottom line to success is a happy, satisfied customer. Without that, all the skill and talent in the world won't do you any good. So what is good customer service? Start by listening to what your customer wants. If you don't know what your customer wants, you have no hope of satisfying it. Ask questions. Make sure you understand your customer's needs. Now offer suggestions based on your experience and your talents, but remember that this is your customer's dream project, not your own. And I think this is where a lot of people drop the ball. They start off by listening to what the customer wants, but then veer off into their personal dream for the project. Then they try and convince the customer to get on board with their plans. Wrong. This is your customer's dream project. You're only in it to, to satisfy their dream, not your own. Now I understand that sometimes a customer will have an idea that you don't think is practical. In that case, explain to them why you think it won't work and offer some suggestions. But, if the customer still wants to stick with their original plan, you have two choices. You can either do the project the way the customer wants, or tell them that you can't help them and wish them luck. And I try not to use the word impossible. The moment you say impossible, you leave the door open for somebody to prove you're wrong. How many things that we're doing to, on a daily basis today were impossible 100 years ago, or 50, or 10, or even last year? Better just to say, I'm sorry, I can't help you, apologize, and wish them well. Better to let go of a project than to have an unhappy customer. In most cases, the person will appreciate your honesty. Once you know what the customer wants, set a reasonable price and timeline and stick with it. Work out every, all the details of what you need to be doing to get the job done and set a reasonable price, price range and a timeline. Nothing will alienate a customer faster than prices and timelines that are constantly changing. If it turns out the job was more than you originally anticipated, eat the cost and consider it a lesson learned. It's, a, it's all business. However, by the same token, make it quite clear what you're doing for the job and the, if the customer starts adding additional projects, feel free to renegotiate. But make it clear that these are ex extra projects for an extra price and don't just bring the, the bill on them at the end. That way, both you and the customer end up winners. This is how I feel customer service should be handled. I hope it gives you some ideas on how to conduct your business. Now, if you have any questions, or just want to experience my customer service firsthand, feel free to give me a call at 204-880-5505 or email me at brian at highopscommunications.ca and let me work with you to make your communications and promotions dreams come true. Have a great day.